okay? What is this place? The place finds them. Welcome back everyone. Today we'll recap a 2020 American psychological horror film named You Should Have Left. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. At the beginning of the film, we see Ella waking up from her sleep. She hears a noise and looks outside to see who it is. She then closes the door in fear and returns to her bed, where she sees an old man, who tells her that she will no longer be able to speak and will be unable to breathe. Then he lets her breathe, and she wonders how he knows her name. However, he asks if she wants to hear something really interesting. Ella awakens from her sleep to find no one in the room. But then the man lifts her into the air and says it's about her daddy. Here her father Theo wakes up, and goes to Ella's room to check on her. One afternoon when Theo attempts to visit his wife Susanna on set, he is denied entry. While waiting to be granted authorization, he hears Susanna doing a lovemaking scene and is visibly annoyed. Susanna later apologizes to Theo, rebuting his obstruction to a misunderstanding, and she tells him she has put him on the approved list. Theo informs Susanna that the set security guard recognized him. She teases him, telling him that they think he is dangerous. Soon after, they book a vacation in Wales and arrive at the house where they will spend their vacation. They find the house very big and they like it a lot. But Susanna notices that there is no network in the house. Now at night when Ella is playing in her room, she sees a shadow on the wall. Just then Theo comes there, and Ella tries to tell him about that shadow. But Theo doesn't take her words seriously and puts her to sleep and leaves. And we see a shadow there again. On the other hand, Theo tries to turn off a lamp but it does not turn off. He tries all the switches but none of them work. Meanwhile, Susanna is watching a web series on her laptop. Then he notices a door there, through which he enters a room, turns off the lamp there, and notices that another door has opened. When he goes there, he finds a strange photograph, but he ignores it and leaves, and after he leaves, the lamp turns on again. He returns and informs Susanna that there is a large hallway downstairs, but she is already asleep. When he approaches her, she abruptly awakens in terror and claims to have had a bad dream. Then he falls asleep, and we notice how quickly time passes during this period. Now the next morning, he has a strange dream, which awakens him. He discovers a note stating that Susanna and Ella have gone for a walk. While Theo is writing in his meditation journal, Ella questions Susanna about why people dislike Theo. Susanna reluctantly explains to her that his first wife Caroline drowned in the bathtub, and people suspected him of murdering her. And because he was a wealthy banker, many people were interested in his case. And when it went to trial, he was on television and became somewhat famous. Despite the fact that he was acquitted at trial. Next, Theo visits town for supplies, where the shopkeeper asks him if he is staying up there. And when he says yes, he asks if he's met Stetler, who Theo presumes is the homeowner. Now while Theo leaving, the shopkeeper mysteriously gives him a drafting triangle and asks him to measure the angles of the house. He then sees a lady standing by his car, who asks him how had he found the house. And when he says on internet, she tells him that Stutler saw him. When he returns home, he discovers that Ella has learned about him. Later, he tells Susanna that it was his story, and he knew exactly what he wanted to say to Ella when it was time. They then both get into an argument and also discovers that neither one of them made the booking, each thinking the other did it. Theo wrestles with feelings of jealousy and mistrust towards Susanna. And that evening while she is taking a bath, he checks the messages on her phone and laptop. But he gets nothing in them. Then when she comes out, he apologizes to her and says that she was right. She handled LOL better than he could have. Now Theo is unable to sleep at the night, so he sits down to meditate. He again gets those strange visions, which suddenly wake him up. He then sees you should leave. Go now written in his journal, and when he looks back, his reflection in the mirror does not move. Then he hears something, and when he opens the door, he sees the stairs going down. He comes down the stairs where he finds a hallway, and we see someone passing behind him there. After going a little further, he sees someone standing, who does not respond to him. Then he finds Ella's toy there, and Ella is lying unconscious in a nearby room. He brings her out of there and tries to wake her up. 
he tells himself that he is having a dream and tries to wake himself up, and stabs himself with a bottle, which awakens him from sleep. He then comes to that room with Susanna and tells her that there was another door right behind the bookshelf. Then they go to the laundry room, where Theo shows her the photo and says it was in his dream, to which Susanna says he saw the picture and then he put it all in his dream. He asks him if she doesn't remember him getting up and leaving the bedroom, to which she says no. After this, they both come out, where Theo asks her if she is feeling good in this house, to which she says no. The following morning, as Theo watches Susanna and Elle playing outside, he texts her. At the same time, he sees Susanna look at her phone. He hears a text vibration on the kitchen counter and finds an identical phone with his messages on the screen. Realizing that she has a secret phone, he suspects she has been cheating on him. He returns to his journal to see that someone has now written you should have left. Now it's too late. He goes out to confront her and gives her other phone to her. And she admits to an affair with another actor named Max. He asks her if he has been here. Because somebody wrote in his journal, she tells him that he is in New York. They both get into an argument and Theo asks her to leave for the night. Next, Ella tells Theo that she doesn't like being here. She has weird dreams and she gets in bad moods. Theo tells her that as soon as her mother comes back with the car, they will go back home. Then his attention goes to the water on the floor and he checks the angle between the wall and the floor with the drafting triangle given by that shopkeeper. He then measures the kitchen with a measuring tape and then he goes out to measure and finds that it is five feet larger inside than outside. Ella says that she is feeling cold, to which he asks her to go and wear a coat. He sees her inside the house and then she goes in through one door, but does not come out on the other side. Theo starts looking for her and finds her coat there, and he thinks she is playing hide and seek with him. But even after searching for a long time, when he does not find her, he starts getting worried. Ella on the other hand is also looking for Theo. Here Theo reaches back into the kitchen through a door and this leaves him quite shocked. The two of them appear to be experiencing separate visions in the dream world. Theo then finds that third door again and when he comes in, the door closes automatically. Here Ella sees a woman lying in the bathtub. When she goes near her, she moves suddenly and Ella bumps into someone and her scream is heard by Theo as well. This is Statler, fearing that Ella runs away from there. Theo hears Ella asking for help. He breaks down a door and heads back into the house, where he finds Ella crying at the stairs. Once reunited, Theo calls Susanna, wanting her to come back and take him and Ella away from the house. But her phone is turned off. He then calls the shopkeeper, inquiring whether he knows of any cab services in the area. The shopkeeper replies that there are none, and during this, a photo appears on that wall. The shopkeeper then speaks of the house cryptically, saying that the devil collects souls from there. He tells him that people have always stayed in that house. Some don't leave. And now Theo sees two more photos on the wall. Then the shopkeeper disconnects the call and someone says that I am always here. Desperate to escape the house, Theo and Ella decide to go to town by foot, but see a shadowy figure observing them from inside as they walk away from it. After some time, they find they have circled back to the house, and they get shocked to see this. Ella doesn't want to go back to that house at which Theo explains to her that they have no other option as they would not make it out here. Now while sleeping, he hears some whispering, following which he comes to the washroom and the door closes automatically. He enters the dream world again, where he sees a bathtub from which water is overflowing, and suddenly Caroline attacks him, which scares him a lot, but it is just a vision. He runs from there and comes to a room, where he sees himself in a vision. Then he sees himself leaving from there and writes you should leave in his journal. He then sees his and Susanna's past selves as they first arrived at the house. After which he meets Stetler and asks him where is Ella, to which Stetler says where he belongs. Just then he hears Ella's voice and he starts looking for her, and we see Ella's shadow on the wall. Theo tells him to let her go and tries to fight him, but Stetler says the sins of the fathers come down on the kids. He then takes Theo's form to taunt him and says he will return Ella on the condition that he does what he must. And Ella is returned relieving Theo. The next day, Susanna returns to the house and Theo gives her Ella. She asks her if he is not coming with them, to which he says he will never let him go. He finally confesses to the true circumstances surrounding the death of his first wife. He didn't directly kill her, but didn't help when she was drowning. He simply watched her die because he had been miserable with her for so long. He accepts that he belongs in the house. Theo's spirit is then seen trapped inside the house 
revealing he had been the figure watching himself and Ella leave the night before. The shopkeeper's voice says that some people don't leave the house, and that the place finds them anyway. And the movie ends here. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.